Well, we have uh, Beppe Bologna with us. He's preparing our glasses with six different wines that he's going to explain to us in a moment. We, are, we will be looking at the characteristics of uh, aromas, certainly of the body, and the preparation for blending our wine. The number one is uh, Barbera, 100%. No, it's fresh cut grass, and then in the palate it's... It's really, it's really kind of Beaujolais notes, isn't it? It's the gamay I've got bubblegum, gum, bubble gum, cherry violet. Which is classic gamay gamma yeah. aromas, isn't it? Which is why you can see why it works so well for the chilled sparkling. Mm. Number four, another under percent Barbera. It's kind of soft in the middle, but okay. a great okay. acidity yes. finish. Yeah. I think the, the oak is subtle, but it's sort of quite it's integrated nice into integrated. the wine. Absolutely. No, that's, <laughs> this is fantastic. Yeah, it's very nice. This is very, very good. So we have it down to two wines now. The first one is 50% uh, of number four with 30% of number one. What we're finding that we're, we're all really enjoying the Barbera blended with the Cabernet and the Merlot. And certainly we're getting the, the aromas, the lift of the fruit and the freshness that is coming through as well. So now the decision is to be made which one we really prefer. For me it's quite quite easy. I love the, the balance of the, the, the oak fruit of that. Um, I think the toasting is a bit too, too full on in that in the number two blend. Um, in regards to the number one, it's balanced. Nice aromas on this. So we've narrowed it down to two and still enjoying both. I think now the proof is in the pudding. We need to make the blends, take them over for a chef to cook the steak and we will make our decision from there. So I'm Richard Turner, I'm the executive chef of Hawksmoor. The second part of the process today is matching the wine against our steaks. Um, our steaks are from Longhorn uh, cattle in Yorkshire, reared by Ginger Pig. And uh, we've brought two examples of our steaks today. Um, the fillet steak, which has less fat. Uh, it's harder to match against. And the ribeye steak, which is fattier, much easier to, to match against. Um, we'll be cooking them over charcoal which is made from burnt down barrels of the wine that we're actually uh, we're blending so um, hopefully that'll give an extra an extra dimension to the flavor okay these are pretty close to being ready now um, the ribeyes are virgin on medium medium rare and the fillets are medium rare the first glass so number three number one is number three number two is number two <laughs> <laughs> Two, second glass, uh, has a quite a fantastic sweetness and softness. Allora, of the two, my personal um, pleasure with the, with the meat is number two. Mm. I think the steak is amazing. It's some of the best steak I think I've, I've eaten. Amazing smoke from that oak. I think the second one, definitely sweeter, softer, rounder, um, but still lots of complexity. So here we are back in the winery, having experienced the wines last night that we blended with the steaks. Deliberation around the table, we weren't completely convinced we had it absolutely right. So we're back at the winery and now we're revisiting the wines. Number, uh, number three is singing at the Yeah. A nice harmony, and you're, you're right. If you don't have your wine mind on and you just sit down and have a glass of wine, I think you'd immediately go, Yeah, actually. After three days of being in Italy in Rocchetta Tanaro, we have made a final decision, and, and I think that we've left nothing to chance. Um, we've cooked the steaks, we've had fatty meat this morning, we've revisited the wines, and I'm so delighted because everybody around the table has chosen exactly the same wine. And all that we've discussed, I think we've managed to achieve it in the wine that we have in front of us right now. And as the, an experience, I think it's been really, really fantastic to be able to do this. And uh, I'm, I'm chuffed with the, the end product and I cannot wait for the, the customers' feedback once they experience what we've created.